Hey there, YouTube. After the last Elite video I uploaded, I started to think about all the hate Elite received in the last two years. This topic got a lot of conflict potential. On one side, there are a lot of people who don't understand why people started to hate the game and, on the other side, a lot of that hate isn't hate. It's just over-exaggerated disappointment turned into unjustified hate. So first, let's try to understand the justified disappointment of a lot of Elite players. Developers are disconnected to its player base. Instead of hearing them and act in a way that satisfies both devs and players, they just do their thing no matter the needs of the player base. A good example is the UI overhaul. Nobody asked for it, nobody requested it, and despite all the negative reactions from the start, they just stick with it. I don't know many commanders out there who were happy about that change, but FDF just kept going with it. And it doesn't matter that we all did get used to it. For now it just matter that they simply didn't listen to the players. And that's just a teeny tiny thing. The biggest setback for Elite was and ever will be the unfinished release of Odyssey. Even I, a textbook fanboy, have to say that they just fucked that up big time. We all know by now why they released Odyssey that early and that doesn't make things better. Is it playable today? Yes it is, but just for a partial player base. To be exact it's just a PC player base. The abandons of console players which came very spontaneous is another thing. Yes they are still able to play the legacy mode and yes they can transfer their commander over to PC but that's just a minor win here. Not to mention that for a lot of PC players Odyssey still is unplayable because of the higher system requirements. Not everybody can afford a new PC or at least a new graphics card just because FDF decides to overhaul the graphics. Some people don't even see it as an overhaul. Some people like the old graphics more. But again, nobody asked us if we actually needed or wanted that overhaul. Let's just imagine Mr. John Doe is enjoying that game for some years, totally happy with everything except for some minor stuff like balancing and stability, maybe a new ship every now and then, and then all of a sudden this game gets unplayable for him. Most of the friends he played with abandoned the game, and now everything he can do is play either a very unstable version of the game with low frame rates or the old version with limited and no new content. If I would be in that position, I would be disappointed as well. And if you invest years into a game thinking that it will run just fine for more years to come and all of a sudden it gets to a full stop, I would be pissed as well. You know, instead of being a fanboy, let's be realistic. FDF doesn't play their own game. They are so far away from their community, they only decide for the company and their shareholders and not the player base. They did everything they could to make people angry, to disappoint them. That's why I understand those who are angry and disappointed. Something like it happened to me many years ago. I played a lot of DayZ mod back in the days. Everybody who don't know it just check the tubes or google for DayZ mod. After Bohemia Interactive released the standalone version of the game, a lot of people were hyped. And we all went with it. We jumped on that hype train because we loved the game. Turned out that it wasn't what we thought it would be. It was a buggy mess of a game, and it still is until today. Back in the days I just stopped playing it. No hate, no ranting, nothing. I even tell a lot of people that if they don't know DayZ, they have to try it. Because it still is a great game and a somewhat well-made experience. But it's just not that DayZ I enjoyed anymore. What I want to say is, sometimes it's hard to say goodbye. It's hard to say goodbye to a game that you've played for so long that you can't imagine not playing it. But if you are so unhappy with the game, if you are so disappointed that you can't hold it back anymore and you need to start ranting about it, start hating it, then it is better to close that chapter and just stop playing it. Because it just doesn't help anyone. Try out Star Citizen, maybe you like it more than Elite or one of all those other games out there. Before you start hating Elite. Just think about how many hours of joy it brought into your life. Hundreds or thousands? There aren't a lot of games out there capable of achieving that. What I want to say is, I understand everybody who is disappointed, but I don't understand the hate. And sometimes it's just better to let go, because in the end, it's just a video game. Anyway, catch you later.
Catch you later.